So about every hour, I will start this spin the wheel process to decide on what composer I'm going to transcribe and whether or not I'm transcribing a piece that I've already done or a new piece. So I'll first start off with this composer wheel and I'll spin it. And then whatever composer it lands on, that's the composer that I'm transcribing for that hour. Now from here, I'll go to another wheel and this changes over time and it's different for each composer, but I'll go to another wheel to decide whether I'm working on a piece that I've already done or I'm working on a new piece by the composer. If I do end up working on a new piece, I'll go to the genre wheel, and again, this varies from composer to composer, but this shows a lot of the genres that I've come across, and I will spin the wheel And uh, whatever genre it lands on, that's the genre that I'm transcribing. Now, three things can happen from here. Those are either one, I go on to IMSLP and look for the lowest catalog number that's in that genre that I haven't already done. Two, I go to another wheel to narrow down the genre even further. Or three, I go to another wheel to narrow down the key because the composer wrote so many pieces in that genre, such as with Bach and Fugues, or Schubert and Lieder. Now, there are four genres for which I go to another wheel to narrow down even further to a specific type of that genre. The first is the dance piece. If the wheel lands on dance, I'll go to this wheel and then I'll spin it. And if the composer didn't write any dance pieces in that genre, I'll spin it again. And I'll just keep doing that until I land on a genre that the composer did write. And then from there, I'm going to IMSLP and looking for the lowest catalog number that I haven't done already. The next is folk song nationalities, folk songs, to narrow down the nationality of it. And again, if the composer didn't write any folk songs of that nationality, I'll spin it again. until I reach a nationality that they did write in. The next one that I narrow down to a specific type is the Duo Sonata. 
and then I'll spin the wheel until I land on a duo that the composer wrote for. And then the last one, for which I narrow it down to a specific type, is the concerto. And once again, I'll spin the wheel until it lands on a type of concerto that the composer wrote. Now, as for the ones that I narrow down by key, like, say, Bach Fugues, uh, I go to two wheels for that. First, I go to this wheel to decide if I'm doing a major key piece or a minor key piece. In this case, I'm learning on major. And then I go to another wheel to decide on the tonic note. D. D major. Uh, okay, and... Uh, uh, then... I will go to IMSLP and then narrow it down to specifically what's in D major in this case. Uh, so, like, uh, I'm, I narrow it down to Bach fugues in D major, for example. And then, as with all the other ones, I'd look for the lowest catalog number that I haven't done already. And then, that's the one that I transcribed. 